Hey, Don here. <clears throat> well, <laughs> of course, as usual, I have to have a drink as soon as I start a video. Okay, so I'm shooting at my uh, laptop screen from. Gotta be careful here. I've got it over here on the other side of my. Uh, I never tried this before. Never thought about it, but I, I checked before I got ready to watch TV. I checked on my virus scan, my Bit Defender virus scan in the AS Rock with from my laptop with Team Viewer. So because I unplugged the cable, I, I made sure it was going to work, and then I unplugged the cable, plugged it into my laptop. So. I saw four reports uh, along the way during the scan, but uh, <clears throat> now that it's done, it says two threats and six items. Oh, and six items still present on your system. Oh, okay. And the threat is uh, doesn't oh if you click on it, it does bring something up. It was real small and I couldn't see it when it fit the screen, so I hit I clicked I changed the. Uh, the view to was still on that's on auto select the speed and all that but the, it was on best fit I, yeah it was best fit I tried scale it didn't help so I hit original and that made it uh, you know good size in my screen here but then it, uh, you know you can't see but just about a quarter of the screen uh, of that other machine and that's because I know why because of course, it wouldn't be big enough if I didn't. But I'm on 1024 by 768 on the laptop. And there's, uh, let's see, there's the screen you can see, and my laptop screen is out of the camera view, actually. It's way over there. Uh, it's black on the edges, and I've got the, only got a very little light in the room, so it also it makes it look, show up good, though. And since I've got, I've got, I'm using the other camera that's sitting on the little baby tripod, I was able to do that, so, um, I'm gonna watch this soon. If I if I bump anything, it'll make my tripod fall off here. It's very close to the edges. Okay. So anyway, um, <clears throat> okay. Disinfection failed for four items. Oh, okay. So there were four. And what they were? Oh, I see. Mom's phone, Theta's phone. That's Mom's. Dawn's, Alcatel one. And they are, oh, backup, backup, memory card. I want to see what it is. It's an APK file. Google Android Music APK. I wonder why that's considered to have a, have a, uh, something bad in it. Something could have got in it during all this trouble, but... So I'm going to go ahead and delete it, but I'm going to figure it's a false positive, but it doesn't matter. You know, they're still on the phones, and uh, next time I back up, <laughs> they'll get backed up again. Well, that's good for me that I don't see any more regular Trojans and all that. Now, that was this one, Android Riskware Agent. Well, it may be something that that phone app does. It doesn't say it's a... Now, SMS and riskware so it's not considered to be you know a virus or a Trojan it says it's riskware so it probably does things that are invading your privacy and of course we all know Google's watching big brother Google's always watching us so uh, yeah okay Dawn's Android one and Theta's Android this one is track phone that's a, that's one of the uh, system apps, track phone generic client, provisioning handler. Same thing. Uh, of course, that has to be in there if you're gonna make any phone calls. Of course, I don't have service on the phones. I'm just using them for pocket computers. Uh, but they are on the phone and running. I didn't uninstall any of that because number one, I want to be able to use 911 services. I ever had to, and number two, I thought I might. You know, get service on the phone at some point, or at least one of them. Probably not all of them. Well, my mom was going to get hers turned on at first, but now she's decided the screen's small, and she thinks it's hard to use because she thinks uh, she can use her tablet. It's a, it's an Android tablet, <coughs> but she thinks it's too hard to learn the operating system. So, um, 
she doesn't use com she used to use computers at work all of most of her half most of her life but she just used the applications that uh, you know they had at work and and she's forgotten a lot of that she's been retired since 2000 so she so uh, she's probably not going to uh, use it I guess doesn't look like it okay that says take no action but I'm going to say disinfect delete rename I'm just going to say delete. Oh, that made them all go to delete. <coughs> so tiny on my phone screen. It, it is small. I mean, I've got to grab a magnifying glass to read a lot of things on the... Of course, this is really small because I'm making a video, but... This is probably the best phone screencast video I've ever made because it's sitting still. And it's on a straight angle. Well, I've tried doing it on my desk over there, and it's can't set it anywhere. It needs to be right in front of my nose, but actually where I'm sitting here... I can see the whole screen. The phone's over to my left. I can put my mouse is under the tripod in the middle of it. It almost be neat to show it. But I'm going to say fix issues. And what's really odd is usually when uh, see I can page up and down here, but I can't page left and right. There's nothing there for me. Well, maybe there was when I went to the bottom. No, there's nothing in my screen to let me page left and right. It may be just the way the. I'm going to click around on things because I, I don't want to lose what I'm working with here. Fix issues. Okay. Now, yeah, it's already brought something up down in there. Deleted. Okay. So I imagine it shouldn't have any trouble deleting them. Okay, so it deleted uh, SMS send. I don't see but the two. I don't. I don't see the others. Let's see. Okay. SMS send or deleted. Close automatically when done. I say it's going to be the best video, and there'll be probably some weird problem with it, or like you can't hear me or something. Okay. So that was it. Uh, can't make this any bigger. Already tried that earlier. So you can't, um, find three way you can do this to see, there we go, now we're getting somewhere. I could tell phone, I still want to know what files it deleted. My piece of paper with my password to get into my, uh, Team Viewer in, into my S Rock with Team Viewer, just getting it with the mouse. Okay, uh, it was down there on the little. I have a fold up, both sides of my keyboard tray. That's what that is that the laptop was sitting on. If you saw it in the other videos, both sides of my keyboard tray have a fold up mouse table. <laughs> Pretty cool. You can be on either side of it. So I fold up whichever one I want to use. Actually, the one on the right I can't fold up because the desk is in the way, but. Well, that's a long address, that's for sure. Still haven't got it down all the way down there. Provisioning client, track phone. So what, there's an SMS capability in there? Well, God, I don't know, really know what provisioning client does. I thought it had something to do with getting, you know, making phone calls. But, well, it could be all of that. I need to assert RSA, generic, track phone. Okay, made a cert RFA, RSA. Okay, well, that's that's what it is. Okay, and that was not so long after all. Android Resquare SMS Send. So I don't know if maybe that's what it really does or what. But, uh, I mean, uh, these apps... I don't know that they really are smart enough to know you know what phone apps doing what they're supposed to do because this is a desktop skin you know and I'll say desktop but you know a computer it could be a desktop laptop whatever scanning software result summary it doesn't do anything when you click around on the different menus log viewer I'm gonna go in there right quick before I close this up Saturday this isn't Saturday is it 
It certainly is. It's Saturday, September 24th. I didn't realize that. I did not know. How did it get to be Saturday? It was just Thursday. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, there's nothing in the log to view. Look at that one more time. Oh, maybe if I'd have clicked on it, there might have been something to view. I thought something was odd about that. Okay, it's a good long log. And it's too much for me to try to read through, really. I could save it, maybe, but uh, it's not going to matter. I'm not I mean, even, uh, I may have already, uh, some of the skins I wasn't able to look through them. Well, they didn't give you a way to look through them enough. I don't know if, if you know, Windows 7 is already broken anyway, and I'm going to have to repair it. Well, this is the first time I haven't found something that was in the actual operating system. I think I have another one I may run. Okay, all issues have been successfully resolved. Oh, now maybe I can click onto the different tabs. Um, oh, that's where I am. Results are going to resolve. Oh, so it goes there automatically. You don't get a choice. So, uh, well, that's encouraging. I was beginning to think that when I saw more stuff in this scan, I thought, crap, I'm never going to get this thing where it might be used again. So, uh, the only one I really care, because, like I said, because of all my phone videos, I thought, well, I'm going to have to put that old 30 gig hard drive in it and put an operating system on it and just delete everything else that's not my phone files on there. Or, uh, personal, well, there's other, a few other personal files in there, things that I put on there. But anyway, um, that's good. I think I may do one more scan. I'll see if I have another. I can't remember what. I downloaded, I think I only downloaded this one. And I might have one other one that I might want to use. Well, I do have the ones I hit done. I'm doing things without saying. I do have the uh, executable files that I could run from, maybe from uh, Hiron's Boot City at Mini XP or from that uh, Linux. Well, it's not really Linux. It's a binary compatible open source uh, version of Windows XP. That's what they call it. Uh, well, they don't call it XP. They just call it Windows. But uh, I think it's basically kind of supposed to be NT. Or something if it would run that stuff but it may need uh, .NET and stuff like that it might take forever to even try to get it to work oh and the device yeah and I know that the uh, unless it recognizes the, uh, the, the, I've got wired and wireless in, in uh, oh in the laptop uh, unless it recognizes a NIC card in that AS Rock, which is pretty new so it might not then you couldn't download the virus definition so it wouldn't be any good Okay, so scan now, update now, settings. Now maybe if I don't, well I didn't get a chance to go there first, but seems like it was pretty thorough anyway. Keeps the application running in the background. I don't see any scan settings. I always have to know all this stuff. Okay. Oh, scan on drop. Okay, so I probably wouldn't have. There's not. Doesn't look like there's really anything to do in there anyway. So I'm going to hit exit. Now I'm curious about one thing. This may I probably, as I usually do, yeah, hit that. Okay. So when I hit that to make it, uh, you know, fill the screen, it lost my left and right pager. So it was there all along. It was down below my bars. That happens, you know, sometimes. So um, let's see. View is what I was looking at. Original, scaled. Okay, now that makes it all fit the screen. But, of course, it would be too tiny. Look. To read anything now view best fit best fit I guess is be the uh, same as scaled in this case 
And if I make this like that, then... Oh, so now I could... You know, there's a little space at the bottom that's not being taken up. It's a different size than uh, the last, you know, 10, 1024 by 768. This fit doesn't do anything. Original, that's the only way I could make it big enough for me to read. Now, if I were on my, you know, earlier when I was on my, uh, I'm going to put it back on best fit so the next time I log in there, it's not, you know, doing something weird and I don't say, what the heck? Okay, um, so I'm not going to mess with anything else. I am going to shut the machine down, though. I am going to do that. Okay, so I better go, let's see, if, can I see it well enough? Oh, that's little. Well, it's not going to hurt to put it, I don't make sure I hit the right thing. So I'm going to hit original again. Then I'll just page down there, let's see. I have to be able to get to the bottom though. Where's my menu? There's my menu. Team Viewer's still running. Oh, you gotta leave it running. Uh, then you lose control. You gotta think when you're doing that. Okay, now. I don't see a power button or anything. I guess I'll have to use the logout. Well, let's page over to the other side and see if there's. Nope. Sometimes they have a, something that looks like a power button. But this is uh, turning out, other than the fact that you don't have any power over what you're doing, how you scan and what you scan, assuming that it's thorough enough, then uh, and being that it got called out those APK files, those Android files, <coughs> from, uh, it probably is thorough. But you don't know when you don't really know, you don't have the ability to change the settings. But I definitely have it in my, my list of scanners now. Okay, it's up there. Oh, I better hurry before it does something. Gotta hurry and uh, okay, yeah. Log out, restart, shut down. So you lose it. In the instant you hit that, you lose it. But as long as the shutdown went well, then you're fine. But you're not logging back in there again. So, and that's a temporary. Those numbers in there for logging in are temporary because. Uh, now that I shut that down, next time I boot it back up, they'll be re. If I ever open Team Beer again, yeah, it went down. I heard it. Yeah, I mean I don't hear it anymore. So those numbers would be different next time. Uh, if it's on your system and install, you know, if it's on a uh, installed system instead of a live system, then it uh, it will uh, still be the same. I've, I've noticed that. So, uh, I think you can add, tell it to make, new, uh, make a new uh, code. But really, I would call that a login ID, those long numbers, and then the short number is your password. And I hadn't ever done it that way. I'd always, uh, well, I'd been, I'd done it, I don't know if I ever did it on desktops before. I tried it out and I didn't like it. I took it off. And, but then I figured out that, you know, I found out that it had a, a server for phones. I tried it out on my phones, and the phones are different. When you have uh, the server on your phone and you log in from your desktop with the with the, actually, I was just thinking of it as a viewer app, uh, you know, a client, but it's actually a, a client and server all in one. Uh, but on your phone, it's called uh, for Android, it's called Team Viewer Quick Support. And once you install it, it uh, as it tells you it, if if it works, as long as it works with your phone model, you know. Mine's the Alcatel A845L. It, it wants to install an add-on to make it work with that phone, and I let it do that, and it works fine. It's not, you know, like I said, there's some lag in there in the ref screen refresh, uh, and that's due to my... Wi and it works through Wi-Fi. Uh, only through Wi-Fi. So, uh, I, I might do Bluetooth, I don't know. My phone is will do Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB. But this one... Only thing uh, I don't know if it'll do Bluetooth, but the only thing I have that has it, I don't have anything that has Bluetooth but phones. So, yeah. so anyway, um, <coughs> went crazy and lost my mind. Um, <coughs> oh, the um, at first I thought it wasn't working with the phone because I wasn't paying attention to my phone screen. So you try to you know you you click on it on your desktop to log into your phone. And your phone will instantly pop up a little window, and it doesn't stay up for very long. So you got to be looking. And you know, do you want to allow this to uh, 
to be controlled your phone to be controlled so you got to click yes so but in the in the uh, desktop it's the more like VNC you know it has a password and you uh, log in that way which is perfect for what I just did and it would be cool for uh, like you know you can build a little you can build little USB sticks to give to people of course it is. As long as they're, uh, you know, most newer computers will automatically boot to a USB or at least give you the option. And if they have to go into BIOS to tell it to boot to USB, then that'd be hard for most anybody that if anybody that you're doing it for, you know. If you're if you're having to do a virus scan for them uh, remotely, then they probably you know, they're not going to get in USB uh, USB in BIOS and change the settings unless you know it in your head and you can tell them step by step what to do. So um, anyway. That was cool. So I got that uh, one more step closer to perhaps being able to use that AS Rock. And I will. Have, I'm gonna have to clean it up because I got all these uh, videos on this phone and the other phone that need to be gotten off of there. Uh, I've been trying to be careful and not take too many too too long of videos like I'm doing right now, and uh, so that I won't fill them up and have no place to put them. Of course, they do get up a well. It's kind of weird. Uh, they get uploaded to Google Photos, but it, it reduces quality quite a bit. Uh, they're not bad, but they're not the original quality, and I'd like, I don't want to lose the original quality ones. And, uh, but uh, it, it's kind of hit and miss from whenever you're having it just upload. Uh, usually I back them up on that AS Rock Windows 7 machine and leave it running so that it can back, I have Google Photos upload app on there. And they always, that worked fine. It takes, you know, a good amount of time. Just leave it running all day for a day, and it'll usually do it. Uh, but on the phones, sometimes it gets them, and sometimes it doesn't. I, uh, I leave them, I've left them running all day, most days for the last week, and I haven't still got all my videos uploaded. So I really don't get And sometimes it'll upload one from today when it hasn't uploaded one from three or four days ago. Uh, maybe going by the size or something, I, you know, doing the short, small ones first, and it'll do like screenshots and pictures right away. And there's supposed to, uh, and my videos, the biggest they are, is like three and a half gig, and they're supposed to, you're supposed to be able to have up to ten gig of videos. So I don't know. And they're the right format. You got, you got to make sure it's a supported format. I'm using MP4s in my phones. I got my uh, open camera will do MP4s. And it'll do three. Uh, Google Photos will take three PGs too. So, so anyway, just done. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.